Hello everyone, welcome to another random reaction to the Zombie Last Sega episode 8! Yeah, this is my third reaction to this anime. I wish I could have started earlier because this show is so good right now. And I really regret not like starting around episode 2 or 3. Oh my god, Zombie Idol Girls actually works. Actually really works. But before I get started with the review of last week's episode, I first have to thank all of you who watched my video from last week's episode and give a lot of liking to it. Because I get I achieved over 40 likes after like a long time since I achieved over 40 likes for like the weekly reaction and also like I, I achieved over a thousand views oh my god when I saw that and love likes I was like wow I actually I actually give a lot of good content to my reaction and I was so happy to see that you guys actually enjoy my content so far and yeah thank you so much for, for you guys for watching that video and hopefully I can continue to entertain you guys with my reaction for this anime so what do we know from last week of episode? Well, nothing much to say other than the second half, but let's get the review started, shall we? Well, let's get with the boring stuff. Jungo locks herself in the storage room while growing a pair of mushrooms. Well, she's a dead person after all, so she can grow anything on her body. Well, you know, like all the girls are training and the manager and she's just like being left alone in the storage room. The manager's son, well, since he's responsible for uh, re um, like reincarnating them to like into a zombie, he had, he had to do something about it to like make sure all the girls like come back together and perform in the psycho concert. So he just came bursting in and yeah, knocked a jungle out for into the afternoon. And when she woke up, he just gave her some like a life advice if I remember correctly. Then to my surprise, he was actually very supportive in that scene, despite him being a dick for most of the time, well, for the majority of the time. So yeah, I'm quite surprised he's actually quite supportive with advices, but very, well, very uh, bad person when it comes to like performance and stuff. Well, the fun part of the after that was, well, you guys know what I'm talking about, the comedic scene, the, de the deja vu scene, and yes, I even made a clip of it, link in the description. Uh, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. The O's epic. Deja vu crash scene. Oh my god. When I literally, when you guys watch my reaction again from last week, I said, Oh, crash on her, crash on her. And it did, crash on her. And Sakura said, Oh, deja vu. This happened to me and now it happened to Junko. Wow, deja vu indeed, isn't it? But that scene like gave a lot of laughter to the reactors, especially me. And yeah, I'm very glad that people actually reacted to that scene because that scene was like one of the most funny, funniest scenes I ever saw in Zombie Land Saga so far. Other than like the rap battle, of course, and uh, episode four and five. But yeah, let's not talk about that for now. But the best part of last week's concert was, well, the concert itself. I mean, at first thing we thought it was like a successful to that as Jungle still. Uh, battles with the fear of lightning but with the power of friendship she snapped out of it and like gone with the performance and yes yeah, so they were able to perform under the rain because the manager sprayed them with like uh, water resistant um, spray but which was supposed to be used on shoes so yeah the makeup is like still on and stuff so they were able to perform under well the rain I mean the performance was actually really impressive even this motherfucker joins in the fun with his glow stick like swaying around like a, a maniac of an idol so yeah I'm really glad that people are actually enjoying that scene and showing some support like me right now going to prepare my glow stick for any potential song and some concert happening in this episode so yeah the concert was so well done until the lightning strike but with the lightning strike, coincidentally, well, they became like glowing bodies. Um, they, but as a result, they just became vocal lords for the most of the remaining of the concert. For the remainder of the concert, they just like sang some like uh, robotic digitalized singing. And yeah, this sort of rivals Miku's song, but especially the part where <laughs> But obviously I'm I'm really loving the show and I really want to continue reacting to the show and yes, they are now famous now and they're in the front cover so can't wait to see how they're gonna adapt the life of being a, a popular idol in the Saga prefecture. So yeah, without further ado, I really want to get cracking with this show. Okay, I'm in position now and let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, I wonder what this story today is gonna be about. And yes, I got my glow sticks just in case there's another concert. Yeah, I just mentioned this earlier but I might as well mention it again. Here we go in three, two, one, go.
Yeah, with uh, previous talk and stuff. Hey, the laser beam. Actually, I'm, I, I really want to download the music. If someone can know the full song and downloadable, comment below, please. I need the, I want the song. I want the song. Can I own the Hoshi this? There were Kirikira everywhere, by the way. They are sparkling for the whole world of performances. He looks like a uh, Yakuza. The way he looks. Uh-huh. Eh? I heard you say hey. Oh no, is he gonna... Hmm, what's wrong with him? Is he a lollicon or something? What? What happened? Did something trigger him, triggered him? Yeah, someone in the picture sort of like reminds me of someone, maybe. Like, how could, well, how else were you, why you would react to that picture? And yeah, we just listen to this wacky opening. Not so I don't like, but it's wacky and a lot of memes all around it. Yeah, because of this zombie and that manager dancing. <laughs> so I still find it funny. Ah, <coughs> uh, the wackiest opening. Dude, I'm one, I really want not plan to use that as like some sort of meme or some sort of, you know, some part of my video. Saga, let's do this. Riri. The most lolly energetic one. Y is he actually the one that making the sound or is the the horn itself? Oh ha. <laughs> she's oh, she's so cute. Dere dere na. If only she's in makeup, they would look cute, cuter. And here he comes with his asso talks. Mm hmm. Hey, don't be mean to a little girl, manager son. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, oh, oh, I did not just saw that. I really did not just saw that. That is some. Oh, now they're like suce having success now. Oh yeah, I those stuff that you had to appear in department stores and like pop up uh, areas, festivals and stuff. Well, at least they're building up their reputation. And he's stalking them. Ha <laughs> ha Uh yeah, bribed him with pictures. Cost you twenty thousand yen. Wow, he's big. I yakuza, dude. He has this yakuza vibe around him. <laughs> he ran for it. <laughs> okay, Riri. So something about Riri that bothers him. Look, he is look threatening. Oh dear. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh! Oh! Actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> actually, you can actually, she can actually kick. Wait, zombies are strong, anyways. Oh, the loyal fans. Well, zombies are strong, so they can actually uh, beat up big guys. And there's the manager. Hmm. Hmm. Is Tai the Tai Hen? Oh no, he's that guy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm? What? Okay. Something's up. Something about nine, nine years ago, I guess. Something happened nine years ago, really. Hmm, wonder what is it about? She's outside. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Her dad? Whoa, that is whoa, whoa. Okay, how she died, and wow, the, wow, that a uh, dad and a, a little daughter, very chichai, and there's a mother dead, so yeah, sad times. I see. This explains when she died, he avoid TV. Wow, look at the size difference. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what's this sad music in the background? Uh, 
this is supposed to be sad. I'm smiling. This is not something I should be doing this very, very sad scene. Hmm? What happened? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Girls in a rebellious age. Uh, dude, he, he, his head is actually touching the ceiling. If he like tiptoed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How so how she died? Hmm. What's going on? Eh? What what's going on? Are you kidding me? That's how she died? Why did you just do it in the first place? Just kick the door. Are you kidding me? She died by not able to pull out a uh, hair from her chin. Really? This is how she died? This is... Yeah, Wakaru! This is the lamest death scene I ever saw. Huh? Eh? I didn't catch that. What happened? <laughs> I, I should not be laughing, but she just turned the way she laughed. It's just so funny. Dude, this is no laughing matter, and but you're still smiling. Hi. How he, what the hell? What the hell is he wearing? <laughs> Why is he wearing a nanny cap? Ah, and yes, he's aware of it. Why? How, how am I not surprised? He is. He of course he knows how to die. And he's been a dick again. Uh, he's still mourning over them. Uh uh uncaring shocking so basically a shock triggered her heart and her heart stopped and she died 
Okay. Wow. It pretty much. Yo, I think you should be a blame a bit because you've been forcing your daughter a bit too much. Now this is sad. And he crushed the TV. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. So he's been in a very bad mood ever since then. Uh, and he is back. And I think he should be XXL or double another X. XS? What? XS? She's trying to avoid saying puppy. I know, I know how she feels right now. Trying to hold, trying to not review it. Did she just apologize to? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. what a scene. What a scene. What a scene right there. And her hops popping out. Well, she does die of shock. So yeah, it's the heart to re represent how she died. Yeah, I know, right? And she's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. She's right next to you. God, she's right next to you. God. Are they holding a secret performance for him? Mm-hmm. No, he's here. You can pretty much feel the shake. Oh well, get better get this started. Okay, which color should I use? Let me just see the fans. Oh, well, I'm just gonna use blue anyways. Blue is my favorite color.
What the hell? That was a wrap. Hmm, not bad actually. Wow, that's some sweet singing! <laughs> then we're still singing. Hey, not bad. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to swing this, slow or fast. And Ty just did not, not know what she's doing. Oh yeah, blue represents Rivi's hair too, so yeah, good idea to use blue. Oh, that's so touching of her. It's crazy to see that she actually still cares for her father. It's not those like speed swinging because it's like a slow song. I know it's supposed to be sa it's so sad, especially if you see a Dossaro sing once again after 9 years. And there is the loyal fan. Beautiful, fantastic music, very beautiful. Uh, he overcome his past now, so he can, he's willing to accept the past. Next episode. Oh, so it's her turn. Her biker gangs are back together, huh? Wow, what a impactful episode today. I mean, like we get to, now today's we pretty much saw how Rivi died in a very, very unusual way. Well, I mean, people just die of shock. Don't get me wrong. People can actually die from like being hurt, like like sudden death from like from shock. Like, I'm like in like in horror houses and stuff. I can, I can really understand how really died. Well, really, a hair on the chin. I mean, I thought she died by like some shock or something or something like that. But a hair on the chin. Really, don't understand how girls feel about that, but. <laughs> Yeah, well, Riri's death pretty much caused her father, the big ass gorilla, to like put uh, like hate TV and also going in a bad mood for nine years. If I remember, if I'm not wrong. Well, when he he saw the commercial or the magazine that Riri's like the one of the popular idols in Saga. Yeah, he sort of like when uh, she's like went and check out it, whether it is actually the his actual daughter and yes. He just go aggressive at start, but then just like saying, "I want to confirm his daughter," and then Riri remembers her father, and her father is actually uh, sort of like uh, confirmed that it's the daughter, and just like said all those stuff that he never get to say to her when she was like in showbiz back when she was still like 
a human, not a zombie. So yeah, even the manager know about it. So he's quite sneaky when he when knowing people's personal past and stuff like that. So yeah, this is quite an emotional episode. We get to see how a father reunited with a daughter for a lot for nine years, seeing her perform once again and seeing her alive or as a zombie, of course. So I really like the how this episode goes about, like showing how the two, uh, how a par like par uh, father and daughter are able to reunite the, um, in the, like after seeing her daughter die right in front of his arms. So yeah, he have a lot of regrets, like forcing her daughter to do a lot of showbiz and spending less time with her when she become when was she was like popular back in, when she was like human. I really like the fact how this show emphasized that. Um, that her uh, daughter would love her father regardless how she how he treated her and yeah uh, she sang a song in the end quite a slow song quite a uh, lovely song too to show her love and yeah that's a good end to the series and next week we get to see the biker gangs together again so hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction today and yes do subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy my reaction content uh, give a like to this video if you guys enjoy my reaction for this video today and i'll see you guys next time